and a warm welcome at muralloglassitaly.com. Today we will show you how to mount a chandelier. We have here my colleague Alberto. He will tell you everything in Italian and I will do the translation for you. Come prima fase, colleghiamo il rosone alla parte del soffitto uh, con le, i fili elettrici. As a first step, we will work with the rosone. This is basically the cup that goes on the ceiling and covers all the cables. Passiamo ora a costruire la parte centrale del lampadario, seguendo le istruzioni sul foglio a disposizione. Right now, we will start mounting the main part of the chandelier. It's very important that you follow the instruction step by step in order to mount your chandelier properly. Prendiamo la tige e inseriamo le rondelle e le guarnizioni a disposizione. Right now we will take the main metal bar, the white o-ring and the metal washer. La tige ha delle filettature che serviranno poi a regolare le varie distanze del vetro e una volta ha montato il corpo centrale. Please observe that the threading on the bar is quite long. It serves for you because with the threading with the washer, by moving it on the threading, you can regulate the distance of the main part. And in the end, we mount the hook, and this is the hook how, with which you're going to put your chandelier on the ceiling. Inseriamo ora gli elementi del corpo centrale, partendo dal, dalla corona. Right now, we will put the glass element on the main body. And the first element we are putting on is basically the crown. Observe that the top part of the crown goes downwards. This is the way how it is easier basically to mount the chandelier. So always put the crown first. Segue ora l'oliva. Then it comes the olive. E inseriamo infine la mazza. And the end comes the mazza. E la blocchiamo con l'ultima guarnizione e rondella a disposizione. And then we will fix all this structure with the o-ring and with the washer. Inseriamo ora il cavo elettrico all'interno della tige, facendolo passare dalla parte alta del corpo centrale, facendolo uscire dalla parte inferiore. So once you mounted the main part of your chandelier, you need to put the cable through it. And that is basically comes through here in this hole, on the top part of the hook. The cable goes through inside the other very end. For the simplicity of the video, we are not going to do it now, but at home you need to do it in order to have electricity in your chandelier. Colleghiamo ora il corpo centrale alla catena del rosone. So right now we are putting the main central part on the hook of the rosone. Remember in the beginning the rosone, which was the ceiling main central part, it has some chain going down and you need to put this hook on that chain. For simplicity reason and for space we don't have the rosone, but imagine having here the rosone, the chain, and then you put the central part on top of it. Inseriamo ora il fondino in metallo sulla parte inferiore del corpo, corpo centrale, chiudendolo, chiudendolo col relativo bullone. And right now we are putting the main metal round part of the chandelier where we will put all the arms in and in order to fix it we basically using the washer and we are putting, we are screwing it on the shred in order to fix the whole element together. Inseriamo ora le braccia nei loro relativi fori. And right now we will insert the arms into their respective places. Observe that among the holes you see the bigger holes, the bigger diameters. This is where basically the big arms will go, go in. Inseriamo ora la piccola tige sulla parte finale del lampadario, facendo fuoriuscire il cavo elettrico dal relativo forno. Once you have put in your arm, arms, it's important that you put this final element, you screw it up on the main metal bar. As you can observe, here you have a hole. Through this hole the cable needs to come through that you will connect with the cables that will come out of the arms. Right now for the simplicity of the video we didn't do the cableage but normally as we explained before the cable goes in on the top, comes out over here 
there will be cables coming out of the arms and in the end we just need to connect the two in order to have electricity in the arms. Dopo aver collegato ogni singola braccia alla sua parte elettrica andremo a chiudere la parte finale inserendo da prima il fondino in metallo e a seguire il fondino in vetro chiudendolo con il finale. So basically once you connected all metal uh, all connections of the arm to the main cable you need to hide it with the base. First you put on the metal base then you put on the, the glass base and then you finish it up with the decorative final element. Make sure when you are screwing in the final element that you're not going to screw it too stretched in because if it's too stretched then by time it can ruin the glass. So make sure there's a little bit of space to play with. Inseriamo ora le relative foglie, fiori o ricci sulla parte superiore nei relativi fori che troviamo sul fondino. So right now comes the part where we put all the decorative elements in, basically the flowers, the main leaves and the low leaves. Observe that here on the metal base you have different holes. Always remember that the flowers and the main leaves goes in the holes which are central part. And then the small leaves comes into the holes which are in between the arms. A questo punto dobbiamo regolare la distanza tra le braccia in modo che sia uguale in tutte le posizioni. Right now, once we mounted the high leaves, the flower and the low leaves, we need to make sure that the distances in between the leaves, the flowers and the arms are equal. So we have in the end a nice balanced chandelier. Inseriamo ora la tazza sul braccio bloccandola con il relativo supporto in plastica. So right now as a final touch we're going to put on the lampshade and the blocking screw element which is going to fix the lampshade to the arm. And this is how you mount the chandelier. It was easy, isn't it? For more information, tips and tricks or to see other chandelier, come to our website www.muranoglassitaly.com.